As we map the southern region of the Great Barrier Reef in the Capricorn Channel, we're using multi-beam sonar to look at the seafloor for evidence of fossilised coral reefs, river deltas and sand waves from thousands of years ago during the last ice age. We're going to map an area of the Great Barrier Reef which you know, up until now has been, you know, this, this edge of this shelf is very poorly understood. The only way we can go and find those features is to map. Everything starts with a map. We've been looking at how the reef responds to um, natural environmental changes over hundreds of thousands of years, tens of thousands of years. So looking at the, the, the geologic part of the reef is really important because it allows us to go back in time. And for these periods uh, during lower sea level, you know, during the different parts of the glacial period, to look at how the reef grew and responded to climate changes, natural climate. It's kind of like a, a neat natural experiment. Understanding how the reef ecosystem has evolved over time and evolved in response to major environmental changes. More broadly, help us understand more about reef response and environmental thresholds. While Falcor is mapping the reef's past, my project models how we can positively impact the future of the Great Barrier Reef. So what we're monitoring on this cruise is baby cloud droplets, kind of background aerosols that are present over the Great Barrier Reef and eventually come together to, to form a cloud. It's our hope to brighten the marine clouds over the reef, which will stop there being as harsh of an increase in sea surface temperatures, which is a major component in coral bleaching events. Wider clouds over the Great Barrier Reef will hopefully reflect sunlight away from the reef. This will cool the seawater and improve the viability of the coral. Another way that we can look into the geological past is to take sediment samples from the seafloor. Hidden in the mud and sand, we'll likely find sediment grain types, possibly ooids, that may have formed in the Great Barrier Reef in the geological past, similar to what we see uh, in the Bahamas on the Great Bahama Banks today. Finding ooids in our sediment sample is important because it tells us about the paleo environment. That's the physical and chemical environment in the Capricorn Channel during the last ice age. The, the Bahamas is very, very famous for this particular type of grain called an ui. It's formed in very shallow environment, within, within metres of sea level. The only place in the Great Barrier Reef where ooids have been found, Lizard Island, and the only other place is the Capricorn Channel. Those have been dated at about 15 or 16,000 years, so very close to the last ice age. And so whenever you go and map, you find new things, things you've never ever seen before, no one else has ever seen before. And that's a really, really exciting aspect. That is the sort of the serendipitous discoveries is really an amazing part of it. Because it's been a dream to map this part of the world.